hello guys welcome back to the channel and thanks for subscribing to the channel today we are going to learn all about laravel traits imagine uh, if you have a bunch of uh, code that you use it multiple times in multiple places and uh, every time you use it you have to copy and paste to prevent this uh, we have traits so we use traits to prevent code duplications and uh, code reusability now let's say in uh, my students table i have one column created by and also i have another uh, table teachers this one also have uh, created by so now every time uh, i want to filter a uh, record for example if i want to fetch all teachers which are uh, created by user number one so i have to write where condition and repeated multi in students also actually let's see it but uh, with an example so it will be much clearer for you guys so in students uh, model in here i will create a scope to create a scope i will type public function scope and uh, give it a name for example created by inside this i will pass a query parameter and i will return dollar sign query we are created by is equal to one now let's go to controller and create a method here uh, i will type public function show students and in here i will say create a variable items is equal to students and I will type this scope and gate so it should be small later and now let's return this dollar sign items so to access this uh, method in the controller I also have to create a route for this so let's create a route and in here I will also create a route route gate uh, students and inside teachers controller colon colon class and the name of my method which is show students so now let's go to browser let's copy this let's go to browser and in here if i type students I can in get all the students which is created by uh, user number one same here and if I open this one as you guys can see all of them have created by one now if I uh, make another method let's copy this paste this and this time I will say show teachers now let's create this scope also in the teachers model let's copy this and paste it here now let's create a route for this one also to access it so copy paste copy paste and teachers hi this is me again back from the future so in here we have to also have to change it to teacher model so we can access our teachers table in the state of students now let's go back and jump to the video now let's go to browser let's add this here press enter now as you guys can see all my teachers also have created by one if I change this to for example 2 then also in teachers I have to change it now if I go back to browser refresh now all my teachers have created by 2 so to prevent this uh, uh, duplication what I, I will do is create a new trait and use it in the model so now let's see how we can create a trait to create a trait uh, what i will do i will come to my folders app 
and inside http folder i will create a new folder with the name of trades and inside this folder i will create a new file with the name of uh, let's say created by trade.php and inside here i will type a php bracket and and give it a name space uh, i will it it is inside app folder http and trades folder so now i will create a type here trade give it a name of a similar like file name so it will be easy to find it and inside this i will copy my scope so let's copy this paste it here now our trade is ready so if i want to use this and i will come inside my model and in here i will type use app http trades and created by so now uh, in here in the state of this i will type use created by trade now our students model have access to this trade so we don't need this now if i comment this out and go back to browser refresh my page as you guys can see still i get all the records which have created by two as a value now similarly i can do this in teachers also comment this out copy this paste it here and use created by trade so this one is also done now if i go to teachers now you guys can see it also have created by two now if i want to change i only have to change it in the one place for example in here i will type one and refresh my page both my students have teachers they both have access uh, to this uh, newly created trade so uh, to make it more easier i can also pass parameters to this for example uh, let's say i will type here value and in the state of one i will type dollar sign value and if i want to pass parameter in the controller now i will type here as an two and here also two now if i go back to browser refresh my page as you guys can see i only get those uh, records which have created by two so this is the way that we created a trade it's uh, we can add more scopes uh, in here and access them in uh, our controller let's uh, make another trade scope in here for example i want to filter so what i do copy that scope i will type scope order by name it scope order by and i will give it um, parameter for example column in from which column i want to uh, sort it and uh, direction direct by default i will say descending so uh, in here i will type order by uh, column and direction yeah so now let's go and use this so i will come to controller in here and i will in the students also i will type this order by and the column for example in here i will type uh sorry it's already taken for i will change order by column 
like this so that I can differentiate between D4 Laravel order by and my this scope order by column I will say ID and if I change it uh, leave the second parameter empty by default it will take descending so now let's go to uh, browser refresh our page now if I see the uh, ID first ID is bigger than ID number 7 now if I give the second parameter ascending refresh our page as you guys can see it ordered by ID ascending so up to now we have learned how we can uh, create a trait and use it inside our models now let's see how we can use the trait inside our controller for that I will create a new trait inside my traits folder with the name of test trait dot php and let's copy all everything from here paste it here change the copy the name paste it here and uh, let's copy this methods inside our test trait and import these ones also students and teachers so now uh, sub, uh, let's change this also to students and teachers now images uh, you have this uh, uh, code and you will use it in multiple places for example in a students controller also in teachers or controller also and similarly for example let's, let's say in grades controller also so you don't have to write it in all the controllers also you have to just write it inside a trait and call it from each controller that you need it let's say for example inside teachers controller instead of this I will comment this out this one also and this one also and in the top I will call my trait which is uh, inside app HTTP and inside traits folder with the name of test trait now uh, in the down I will use it use test trait and to call this I will just say return dollar sign this with the name of my method which is students let's copy this and paste it here now let's go back to browser refresh as you guys can see nothing change it still brings the students because this controller now has access to this trait so uh, similarly I can do for teachers also now let's copy teachers and paste it here now let's go to browser inside teachers now as you guys can see we can access the teachers also so this is the way that we can access the trait inside the controller and uh, this is the way that we can access it inside the model this is it for this video and i hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video